Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Savage Saturdays. I'm your host, Derek White, and joining me today is Owen. Hello. We are Sans Stacy. Stacy's, uh, you know, it's uh, you spend a lot of time with your wife lately these days. Uh, I spend a lot of time. A little bit more than normal. Yep. Yeah, the, you know, yep. so Stacy's out and about doing some things safely, you know, it's, you know, but um, uh, yeah, it's just Owen and I today. Uh, we're going to miss her. I like, uh, I, I accomplished something the other day. What'd you do? I got Stacy to laugh. <laughs> I, I don't make, she doesn't, and it wasn't, I guess it wasn't like a laugh. It was a chuckle. Okay. I got that much, but sometimes I don't get that, man. Like most things, like when I make a video or I think of a joke or I think about doing something, I have to preface. If I, if I'm going to share something with Stacy, I have to preface, be like, you're not going to think this is funny, but here's right. this thing that I worked on for the last three days and <laughs> you know, I'm in very, and, and I'm very proud of, but I, I did get her, I got her to chuckle. How'd you do that? Um, I asked her if she wanted a little corn weenie. <laughs> I felt good about that because she she was she said something about the quarantini and I'd heard that before, you know. Right. I was like, what if I offer you my dick in a clever way? And so I asked, <laughs> but I, I wish I could take it back so that I would if I could do it again, I would say quarantini weenie. You know? Because like, like corn weenie doesn't sound it doesn't flow. Right. That's a first idea right the first ideas are there's a rough said. draft if, if i could if i had the opportunity again yeah. i wish i i would i would say i would offer some quarantini weenie because then it's funny because it's like extra it's like wiener tiny wiener small dick jokes are always funny right you know like every time you can't you i think as a guy like you have to talk when you're when you're gonna like talk about your dick you have to Say it's small because you can't. If you like talk about how big and awesome your dick is, then you're, you're setting just, yourself up for failure. Yeah, or it's, you know, what if she saw it's a like, very yeah. big one? <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, yeah. no, it's big, and she's like, no, it's I, it's not. I got her with the corn weenie. Mm. Well, congratulations on that. Good job. I feel good about it. Actually, she's uh, I'm, I've been I I got her I got her to laugh again today too. She's really big on um, dude, and it fucking kills me. I don't want to. So in this, in 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 uh, uh, today's podcast, the the nuts and bolts of it is I want to talk about um, at home workouts. Um, you know, we we offer some at home workouts and stuff, but also like oh, there's just like really fucking weird shit, dumb shit I'm seeing, and I just want to take some time to make fun of it, get it off my <laughs> chest, so I can move on with my life. Sometimes you just gotta be like fuck you, so that you can get on with your day. All right, you know. And then uh, I want to talk about uh, talk about supplements and things I know about supplements and, you know, like some dumb, cool things about supplements and very dumb things about supplements. And uh, there's there's a little bit of self-promotion and stuff here, but that's not the point. Like we we this is a fitness podcast, mostly, mostly. And we the, these are parts of fucking fitness. So that's that's the topic for today, uh, mostly. But I did want to uh, get back to uh, making Stacy laugh. Um, and because I think this is there is like we're not going to talk about uh, obviously fucking coronavirus, COVID-19, yep. quarantine, all this shit's going on and stuff sucks. I, Stacy loses her shit. I walked in the room today and she was listening to like a video on loop of president Trump saying China. <laughs> it's fucking, it's fucking hilarious. And I think it's funny that he calls it the Chinese virus and people are like, I don't even know the words they use to fucking like call somebody a racist these days, you know, or something like that. Well, it's just racist and it's everything. But okay. Do you think it's racist or no, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's where it's, the disease came from. It's yeah, where but, it came like, from. Yeah. But so like, I don't even care. I don't right. even care. I love doing purposefully ignorant shit like that yep. just to fucking, as a way of saying like, Hey, don't be so fucking sensitive. Let's have a giggle, you know? But, but like, so I would, I would call it the Chinese virus. That's right. some, that's some dumb shit that I would say. Yep. He's the fucking president and he's doing, and it. he's up there saying it in front of, he's on the, he's on the main stage and he's like, fuck it. Chinese virus. They're trying to stop him from doing it. And he's yeah. like, Nope. He's like, suck my fucking it. dick. I'm that's the right. president, you know? And then, but the way he says it, man, it's just like, it's like, Mr. President, why, why do you continue to call it the Chinese virus? Like, well, it's from China, 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 <laughs> China. There's and so like, I walk into the bedroom today and all I hear is like China, China. It's from China, China. <laughs> it's fucking funny. And Stacy likes my impression. It's of, pretty good. Of, of President Trump it, saying China. It's pretty good. It's from China. <laughs> I think it's fucking hilarious. So I, I yeah, a couple couple laughs out of Stacy today. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. 
Yeah. So, um, uh, getting into, uh, getting into the topic, let's talk, let's talk about at home workouts, at home workouts. The gyms are fucking closed. They're gone. The gyms are closed. Yeah. Like military bases, just like, dude, this is fucking around the world. Mm -hmm. And I, and I just like quickly, like I fully, I was a, I was a little bit late adopter to the, uh, social distancing and the quarantine things. I was a late adopter to taking this seriously, right. not overly late. I was right. definitely ahead of the main curve and there's still some people who are just don't quite understand. Yeah. Mostly young people. Yeah. It took, you know, but Stacy was, she was on this shit right away, right. you know? And I would say from like the time, you know, as, as far back as like January, February, she was sending me information about coronavirus and stuff. And I was like, this is fucking annoying. Leave me alone. But then, um, you you know, I finally uh, caught on, and so like gyms are closed and things like that, and it and it kind of worked out oddly. Um, we don't talk about it much, um, but we on on DerekWhite.com we have we we've been selling training programs right. since December twenty seventh, and yeah, late. Right before New Year's. Earlier this month, we released a, a full 12-week at-home training program where all you need uh, equipment-wise is your body, some dumbbells, and a kettlebell. Or, you know, and, and like you can have two dumbbells and one kettlebell. Of any weight that you choose. Yeah, any weight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we get that question a lot. What size do I need? God, and you I was can, this close to pulling the trigger on an Instagram story today. I, I, I recorded it and I was like, I won't post it. It was just like, um, so, so, uh, my thing was, Hey, a lot of you guys that are doing the at home workouts have a lot of stupid fucking questions, but please continue to ask them because I'm here to help, you know? That's Cause right. it's like, that's what we do. That's our part in it. You know, just like, <laughs> some of them are very, they're painful questions. They are. Well, I think what makes them painful is they, they are. There's only like seven questions. Yeah, and it's the same and it's damn the thing. Same we're questions we're over trying and over again. to update the website right. and, and yep. get it out there so that we can answer these questions. But people gotta read, man. Yeah, that's people the don't problem. read. I that's write the, the shit problem. inside the descriptions yeah. to update mm -hmm. with what questions we're getting. Yeah. You gotta read the whole yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. It'll tell yeah. you. So, Use whatever weight you want. Yeah, for real. Yeah. So um anyways, we 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 put this out earlier before the coronavirus shit. Um, was coming out because you know earlier this we started with a 12 week training program yep. that you basically you needed a gym for it, it was, you, yeah you like some people if you like some people can do it at home but that like i can do most of that the 12 week new year's program i which, think people who are into fitness can do it at home because they have slowly acquired yeah equipment. so like us we got right. like 10 to 15k worth of equipment yep. in our garage that we've accumulated over the last five years right. you know like we're not fucking you Before know. the beginner right, who was yeah. just starting out, they yeah, were like, hey, can I do this yeah. at home? What go do I need? Go to the fucking gym. You know, go to the fucking gym. And actually, there was a dude who wanted a refund. I don't remember this. Uh, yeah, so we put out that 12-week training program, and this was meant for a gym. And it's very my style of training. It's a hybrid training. It's really cool, you know. And and this dude, he, he comments publicly, and he's like, he's like, you know, I might as well have like lit my $20 on fire. He's like, I wanted, I've been watching Derek work out for years. I wanted his training program. I didn't know I needed a gym to do his training program. I was like, Hey bitch, where do you see me work the fuck out all the goddamn time? Oh shit. I never work out at home ever. except now, but it's like, I'm in the gym motherfucker. I think so, all the yeah. videos we've ever made <laughs> have real. all been at, made like, at I, a gym. I wanted to do Derek White as training. I didn't know I needed to go to a gym to do that. Come on. Like, and I just tell me, I'm like, Hey motherfucker, want a book? Go to the library. You want to fucking get in shape? Go to the gym, go to the gym. I'm a huge proponent of people getting a gym membership and going to the gym. Obviously, <laughs> that's fucking impossible right now. Um, yep. But uh, so just be, we wanted to help people out that, that, that we're working at home. Like, you know, there's people with tight schedules and things like that. Stay at home moms that are fucking, they got, they got to sneak that shit in during nap time or something like totally. that. You know, a lot of people um, who are too nervous to go to the yeah, gym and mm -hmm. are still, they want to for, start for out at home first. Or the other. Yeah. And like, I will say this, you know, when the gyms open back up, can you get a workout in at home? Yeah. Can it be pretty good? Yeah. But it's never going to be as good as going to the fucking gym because like the gym that, you know, like the gym has fucking $250,000 worth of equipment. Okay. Our right. house at best has 10 to $15,000 right. of equipment, you know, and this is, and it's, it's just <clears throat> different. Um, and I, I, you know, so, but anyways, we put this at home training program out and we had some, we had like 30 body weight workouts on the website for a while. Yep. And then one, 
kettlebell dumbbell uh, thing for sale and it was like 40 days. But this was, we wanted to, we took those down. We wanted to make a comprehensive training program because a program will go through phases and things like that. And there's an overall plan. Right. People don't necessarily need to understand the method behind the madness on stuff like that. It's just better to have a well thought out program 12 weeks at a time or so, you know? So we put it out and it was 20 bucks and then the fucking coronavirus shit hit the fan. And just as a nice gesture, I thought it was the right thing to do. And we, we got ahead of this. We were, we got ahead we of, did. we got, so like we are in the fucking fitness personality influencer realm. That's right. our fucking business. Like, yep. unfortunately we're lumped in with that fucking pile of shit it's mostly a pile <laughs> of shit i mean there's a lot of good people out there too i can't you can't always can't forget shit about, on everyone can't can't forget about the good people out right. there but fucking a there's a lot of shitty motherfuckers out there you know and they're all doing that shit now and now everybody's fucking scrambling to any but anyways i felt it was the right thing to do we dropped it to five dollars and and i'll just you know i'll just say like right now if you're at home we have a really fucking really really good at home training program do Pete the comments from people and and the messages i read all the uh Dude, like, all the reviews because yeah. reviews are starting to come in yeah they're awesome people who fucking work out at home like already generally it's foofy fucking shit it is right. foofy ass bitch ass fucking training and now that's most of what i'm seeing on the internet now is people doing like fucking really dumb shit at home hey check it out just because you're working out at home doesn't mean you have to do fucking dumb shit Okay, like, yeah, like our program, it wasn't, it's not just like, it's like the the people buy our programs because they want to change. Change takes fucking work, effort. You have to force your body. I mean, that's how, that's how bodies change, you know, like, yeah, like over time you have to like put a level of output. You're, you know, you have to sort of like scare your body where it's like, Hey body, uh, you need to be able to lift this or you need to be able to go this long. Right. And you just, you just, you know, kind of just like, um, beat your body into submission almost, you know, <laughs> well, that's how I think of it. You know, like we will go out about it a smart way, right. you know, but, um, so yeah, like our, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of our, the program that we offer in that I feel it's different from, so like now there's a lot of people putting out at home workouts and there's, you know, like people are trying to, people people are trying to make ends meet and that's okay. That's okay. Cause right. like, as like right now, um, is, is like businesses are getting shut down. Business owners don't know what to do. Like you fucking, you said it right the other day, adapt or die, adapt, adapt or, or, die. or die. Like this is, this is, um, I'll, I'll say this about the times right now. This is the time to not feel sorry for yourself. Ask why this happened. This is the time to not look outwards for help. If government fucking help comes down, cool. Awesome. But awesome. now is the time to say like, what do I what, have available? What, what can I do? What right. can I do? Right. What can I do? Because there's fucking there's tools. There's, yeah. There's there's a there's a whole internet out there, and they are fucking literally. I don't even know what comes after trillions. As far as dollars, what comes after trillions? I don't know. But there's that's that's how much money is out there in the world. Right. Go get some. Right. Go fucking get some. Right. You know, do so something like, that yeah. you've never thought of doing because maybe you didn't think it applied to your business. Yeah. And you're like, man, does does doing mm-hmm. live streams help or does doing yeah. internet like there's all kinds so of stuff. So it is it is interesting to see. So like but so I guess in our like our market is definitely flooded right now. Right. Fitness always is though. Yeah, I, I suppose, but now it's even more but yeah. So but anyways, the the, the big thing right now is at home workouts. Right. Okay. And mm-hmm. I am just, it hurts me to see some of the stuff I'm seeing. First off, check it out. This fucking like, have you seen it yet? Like C10, do 10, the people like passing around. It's like, I've always hated this kind of shit on the internet. It's like, you know, see a chug, do a chug or something like that. Or, you know, so people do the stories and they tap their phone. Like you spend too much time with your kids. You need to (laughs) ignore your family and get on the fucking internet. You need to spend more time on TikTok. understand our business. Yeah. (laughs) You know where TikTok's from? China. China. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. it's junk food for my mind yeah so um so i i I think so it's not too late it's not too late get like so one of the things i fucking hate about seeing these at-home workouts look if you have to okay i get it but if there's a way that you can avoid doing like squats holding pots and pans 
try to do that because like rule one, I don't know what rules you learned in the army, but like rule one in life is always look cool. Absolutely. Okay. And like a fucking <laughs> instant way to not look cool the whole is the working out with kitchen utensils. Right. Okay. Like Every just time. fucking stop. Fucking stop. Gee, holy shit. And you don't have to do upside down backwards fucking pull-ups on your goddamn kitchen island. I've been seeing it, man. Dips in weird places. Stupid shit. I I liked and and we did this a lot, you know, especially when when I'd be in like schools or something, like adapting with what you have available. Sure. And and there is like, hey, we don't have a weight set, so what can we use? Like yeah. we like we literally used the coffee cans full of cement in Afghanistan. Yeah. And and that was I made a dumbbell out of a sandbag, a totally. toilet paper roll that I put duct tape around. Totally. And five fifty cord. So like, hey, that looked cool. Absolutely. That looked cool. I think what so. doesn't look cool is this fucking pots and pans shit. Yeah. And, or like, if, if you got a fucking dog, do not squat your dog and put it on the internet and think that it's cool or funny. It's <laughs> fucking dumb. Do not squat your partner. Don't squat your children. I don't, like, it's just, I, or like, do what you want. Do what you want. Okay, I'm just one person. My opinions don't matter too much, but I think it's fucking, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of bored people right now. There's a lot of bored hey, people uh, trying to think of the new interesting way to add yeah, weight to their squats. Yeah, sure. So um, if now, if, 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 if any time, now's a good time to throw a couple bucks into yourself. So like we have a home gym here and I don't, uh, it's not, a, it's not amazing. It's, it's nice though. It's, you have, it's you have nice, nice yeah, stuff. I don't, I don't even want to fucking be misinterpreted as bragging about it. Because, like, really, like, we've accumulated this gym over the last 10 or at, over the last, like, five years. Right. And mostly it's, be, like, the bulk of the stuff we got, we got when we first moved to Vegas here. Because Stacy was working 12-hour shifts and her commute to work was 40 minutes one way. So if she was to work out after work, she would just be gone. Right. All the time. And I thought, uh, you know, like, it makes me think, I'm like, you know what, like... I'm glad we have these things. I'm I'm glad we've prioritized fitness as a part of our life mm -hmm. to where like in if if and you know for me it's like if I couldn't make it to the gym I have this something like that you know because with the boys and the family things get busy so it's um I'm just I'm grateful. So when you when you set it up, what did you guys start with? So I, I think I th so we started out with a rower. Okay. A squat rack and our squat rack is just, it's, it's shitty. It's like a hundred, it's maybe like 200, 250 bucks. Right. And I, so I think, um, I got a rower, a squat rack, a barbell for me and a barbell for Stacy. Cause there's, uh, hers is 35 pounds and skinnier for their yep. feeble little, um, their tiny hands. Yeah. They're inferior, uh, sex <laughs> hands. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Um, we maybe ha uh, got some kettlebells plates okay. are expensive, but we got, right. we got the shitty plates. I mean, they're still, we got everything off rogue and, um, and, and rogue dude, did you hear what rogue did? No. Rogue is an amazing company. They already are. They're, they're, they're based in the United States here. And they're like, uh, as far as I know, like everything is made and manufactured here in the United States. You know, it's, they're in Ohio. Well, mm, sorry, drinking water here, guys. They shut down the manufacturing of their gym equipment, right? To use their warehouses, they've uh, they're they're trying to make those N95 masks, oh, med no medical shit. supplies, yeah. and ventilators. Like they got a couple industrial fucking grade or size 3D printers, yeah. to make more ventilators and things like that in case shit hits a fan. Which it if if the estimations are true that there's only sixty five thousand ventilators here, like we're gonna get to that point, right? You know. So I thought that was really cool of yeah. them, and it's like you know, it's not it's not totally unselfish. No, that's the people are going to be buying that shit right now. But it's but it's like, that's the beautiful thing. Win, win, win. Right. You know, it's like, I mean, I'm the, like, the, do the, people need barbells right now or do people need mass? Dude, they've been fucking selling out of their, <laughs> their dumbbells. They've been they, their business is already doing great. Right. So this is like this. will This will be like. It's, it's kind of like what we did when when I announced that we were dropping the price to five dollars for our at home workout right i knew people were going to be i knew people were going to be needing at home training yep. okay i didn't want to give it for free because right. we worked hard on that and like my my food isn't free right, right now like nothing's free for me nothing should be free but that five dollars and it goes into four different pots so we're all making like a buck right so it's not like we're fucking killing it you know but like people will still I've, i saw people like interpret something like that that i did as a way to 
simply take advantage of the time. That's and a you, troll. And you, and you could, yeah, yeah but, uh, you know, and but it, but it was, it was win, win, win. Right. You know, it was a uh, like people who who needed at home training got in home training, and it's very fucking good training. Um, uh, we. That did, needs little did, equipment. Yeah, right. We did something good. I like doing that. I yeah. like doing something. Every time you wake up and you're like, I want to run a discount or, or hey, Owen, let's uh, let's sell these for five bucks. I love that. Yeah. And like, or like it. what we're talking about uh, helping out the shop here soon or yeah. something like that. So like for real, like I get my fucking rocks off. I would actually, I feel better about doing the right thing than I do making more money, mm-hmm. you know? But so the third thing is, we like business was good. So it's, it's win, win, win. And it's that whole thing is like, if you can find a way to make money that serves of your, like it, it, it's like, it actually serves people. Yeah. Like what rogue is doing. Thing. Yeah. So what, like what rogue is doing, it's like, they're going to make like business is going to be good for them, but right. it's like, it's win, 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 win. They did it's that. Fucking, uh, gets the people that need it, what they need. You're doing a fucking good thing yeah. and business is doing good. You're fucking keeping your lights on and then some. Like, right. There's no shame in that. That's, That's awesome. So it's, it's cool that they fucking decided to do that. You know? There's a couple other companies. I can't recall them right now. I don't remember stuff, but the uh, that are doing something similar with the masks that, that I saw a headline pop up where yeah. they were like converting their gear to, to I don't. Stuff. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. I, I no, it never occurred to me to go buy these fucking masks. You know what I see? I'm just I'm just calling it like I see it. It's the shittiest, ugliest, unhealthiest, fattest people that I see wearing these masks. It really is. It's like they're just like it's just like I don't understand it. I, I get a kick out of it. Like a legit a young either like in her twenties, fat as shit. Just fat. Just obviously didn't give a fuck. She was like super lazy appearance. You know, unhealthy, unhealthy, just but wearing a mask. And yeah. I was like, what? Like, well, do they you have, fucking give a shit or not. Do you give a shit or not? Like you are killing yourself every fucking day. Yeah. All right. Like, you know? but, and, and now and now that happens to be the the uh, the biggest precursor for being one of the not old people who die from this. Yeah. Is having a having a preexisting condition like obesity or, yeah. or or a respiratory problem or obesity or isn't a condition oh and it's a fucking it's a beautiful thing it's a life choice like no hey 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 we're not judging you negatively i got fat friends i think yep. they're nice people but it's you know it's unhealthy it's unhealthy like it is it's unhealthy like being fat is unhealthy and now and, to have like, to have your your health and your immune system compromised to where you have to rely on not only the mask itself but the continual supply of those things, yeah, and the supply chain right now is not confidence yeah. inspiring, yeah, at so all. Any, but any, like that's a that's a that's a that's it's a funny thing. It's a it's just an observation, but it's the nastiest looking people I see walking around wearing the mask, and I'm like, I don't get it. Do you fucking care about your health or not? But anyways, so yeah, that was um, you know getting back to it. I know. So Rogue, I think they've been like selling out of dumbbells and things. The point of all this, I I trailed off on Rogue there because I just want I thought what they were doing is cool, but like getting some at home workout equipment might be like if not like now it might be the time like hey go ahead and invest in yourself a little bit. And I know fucking times are tough for a lot of people, money's tight, things like that. But dumbbells and kettlebells aren't expensive. No, and I looked- talk, and, and 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 fitness always seems like a financial burden if you're not thinking about what you're getting in return. Like you fucking have to. I don't. I, it is my personal belief. You have to work out. So some kind of exercise every day because it's mind, body, soul, mind, body, soul. The body's part of it. Like right. some kind of physical activity Something every day. I personally like, you know, go hard to training. Yeah. yeah you don't, you don't got to train like me. That no, is not what I'm saying. I don't you know. <laughs> so, so it's funny with as much time as I spend in the gym with you, I don't, I don't work out like you yeah. at all. I ride bikes with my kids. We do mountain biking, go on lots of walks. I used to run, but that hurts my back now. So I don't run, but yeah. Uh, but like, so, okay, like, but your thing, but you're good at what you do. Right. And so, but like you fit in the category and it is like, it's true. It's like, but it's true for, for me, the people that are closest to me, 
listen to me the least. I just, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even try, you know, like I don't even try. Owen, but, do you want to eat know, that cheeseburger like, or do you want this shake? So for someone like you, you are obsessed with what you do and what you do is like videography, technology, yeah. you set all these things up. So you fucking, so you are the classic case of somebody who just doesn't prioritize right. your health. Totally. Like set 30 minutes a day or something like that. Secondary to like, all the other but, stuff I'm trying to figure out. So it's out. easy for like, I, and I understand it's easy for me to like work out and stuff because it's like, it's what I do. It's what I love. It's my passion, you know? And when I fucking venture off into other things for two, three months at a time or something, it falls off too. Like I know how it works. So, right. you know, but, uh, you know, so for me, the equipment that I do have, which I think is applicable to maybe the, the point of what we're talking about right now is I have a couple dumbbells. I have a bar that I'll do deadlifts with, to to, and, and not deadlifts like what you do. I mean, like, more stretching and, sure, and some yeah. resistance type mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. But that was all stuff I got off Amazon. I think the dumbbells were 15 bucks. Yeah. Um, they're, you know, I mean, Walmart, tw- Target, yeah. have them, things Walmart, like that. Just yeah. like super cheap, mm-hmm. whatever it was to, to have something on hand. Mm-hmm. What's fun for me is since I have that stuff, my kids are picking it up. I yeah. think, I think I showed you the yeah. video of Declan. I know. Yeah, uh, dude, he was like lifting circus weights out there. Yeah. He took a fucking axle with two tires or some shit like that. <laughs> some jailhouse yeah, shit. And in that my little backyard. fucking motherfucker already has better <laughs> fuck. Dude, his like the kids mobility just pisses me off. Like their ability to just squat all the way down and just sort of hang out in the bottom. Yeah. Like you his know? butt is resting mm-hmm. on his mm-hmm. ankles and he's squatting <laughs> back up. He weighs 45 mm-hmm. pounds. I think that little contraption he's using as a squat bar weighs like 25. Yeah. So he's at about half his body weight. Yeah. My, 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 uh, my youngest actually jack is my youngest by like 90 seconds 90 or so, seconds you know? my youngest it's like 30 seconds or 90 <laughs> seconds or <laughs> something baby he was getting his ass kicked by a two and a half pound plate this morning but uh uh yeah no it's like uh, at home equipment i i i i i like now is the time this is have that shit on hand you yeah. know i think the one we get asked a lot about in in questions and emails as far as like substitutions are concerned is a lot of the cardio equipment so like you had said uh one of the first things you bought was the rowing machine a lot of people don't have yeah. that it's a more expensive piece of yeah, equipment. yeah so we got you know so so now in our garage we have a we have a concept two rowing machine um we have a we have an assault bike like the og assault bike and then we have a a, a skierg and right. those are all about 800 or 900 a pop. And it's like, and you know, like we, we bought the rower one year, the assault bike, the next, the yep. skier, the next, something yep. like that. Now we just have all these things and like, but I don't know, like for, for us, I guess it's maybe important. Like I don't spend more than $2,000 a year on equipment. And, you know, I'm thinking about right now making a big, per- but like for me, it's like, Ooh, I really want these plates, but it's like, I don't fucking, I'm cheap. You know, yeah. like I am cheap, yeah. you know, <laughs> I, I, um, and I just, I just get little things at a time. I'll tell you a funny story about, so we have, we have dumbbells out there. Um, and, uh, it was, um, Cause when we moved in the house, we put some more money into the garage gym and I was fucking, I went on rogue to buy dumbbells and I wanted two thirty fives and two fifties. Okay. But I was fucking stoned as shit. <laughs> All right. And I went on, I went on the website and I got, I got some dumbbells. I, I meant to order two thirty fives and two fifties. Um, and then the dumbbells just come one at a time, you know, and in so, a, like separately in a box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just one at a time. They just kept showing up. <laughs> like the first dumbbell showed up. I was like, cool. Like the next day, a dumbbell, the next day, a dumbbell, you know, for like six or seven days or something like that. And Stacy's like, Derek, what the fuck did How you many do? Goddamn I was dumbbells like, I don't buy. know. So I wound up in the end. I have, I now have four 35 pound dumbbells and three 50 pound dumbbells <laughs> because I was fucking high, you know? And, and shopping. Yeah. But anyways, like for dumbbells, like, so we, we get them off rogue mm-hmm. and they're like, they're not that expensive. We got, we got the nice rogue, dumbbells like the crossfit kind of ones yeah you know, like, like the, rubber with yeah, the metal handles mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yep mm. you're very but, particular about the handles on those things yeah well there's fucking yeah I, I, I you know for crossfit those the ones we have are good for crossfit but for like lifting i really like like iron grip dumbbells you know like they, they get fatter right the handles get fatter at 60 pounds or so i don't do that shit where it's like a hundred pound dumbbell on a tiny with little the same fucking handle as the five pound dumbbell fuck that yep 
I don't like that shit. That's like old school weights and stuff. I'm not, I don't do that. I don't do a lot of old school prison style workout shit. I'm like, hey, where's your nice stuff? <laughs> you know, <laughs> this where's, you where's the nice stuff? Yeah. This is the nice stuff. Yeah. And then, so like, yeah, so dumbbells, kettlebells are right there at motherfucking Target, Walmart. They're on Rogue. They're a little bit, you know, I think like maybe they're like a pound, a dollar a pound or something like that. But like, get a motherfucking yeah. kettlebell. Get some dumbbells for your house right now. That we right know. now, if, you, if, you, if, if you're at home, you don't know what you're fucking, you don't know what you're doing. You're not working out. You're kind of like, you got a lot of time at home. People, a lot of people are working from home or not working right now, you know, yep. instead of like, especially like, so, and I, I've, in, in times like this, it's like, this is, this is actually, I don't care. There's, there's problems. Everybody has problems, you know, and this is, this is a tough time for a lot of people in my toughest times. I, I, I've used fitness as my way of staying afloat. Yeah. I really did. I think about like, so like, so for us right now, our business is online. Uh, we're like we're here doing the podcast, this, you know, like my, our, my life hasn't changed too much yet. Right. From this, how, how it will in other ways. I don't know. Well, like, you know, our, our, our shop closed down, so we're not going to be making shirts for what, but like from, you know, like I work from home, my kids are home, our childcare here is at home, you know, Stacy. Um, so I understand like people are out there and like they're working from home. So they got more time, get that fucking workout in. You're like, things are weird. If you're not working cause your shit's closed down, you don't know how you're going to get money and things like that. Well, like still take an hour or so out of your day and get a fucking release, get a fucking workout. Cause like, if you're not working, you don't got no money. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> you know, like yep. it's just I've I've always in my toughest times, and you know, and I feel bad for like biz, like small business owners who are who are going to lose their business because of this. Like, oh, dude, some of them are, you know. But so this like, is- okay, okay. Whereas like I'm empathetic, and that's I I don't want that to happen. But it, like I've had to start over in life. You know, I've I've had to start over completely twice. Both times I thought it was like both times I didn't have a plan. Both times I felt like I lost everything. Both times I made it through, you know? So it's like, it's fucking doable. It's fucking doable. Like, I don't care. You know, like if you have a small business and you're going to like, I think what's the scariest part for that is if you have a small business that also employs other people, right? Because then you are, yeah, you're, hey. you're responsible for them. Sure. Like, like, but but okay, but like, you know, you can sit here and worry about fucking bullshit and stuff like that, or just, you know, take it day by day and figure it out. Everything has a weird way of figuring itself out, you know? People are resilient if they choose to be fucking resilient. It's adapt you know? or die. Yeah. And so, but I was just like, my, 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 in my worst times, I've always relied on fitness to stay afloat. I really have. Like, don't go ahead and take. Go ahead and take 30 to 60 minutes a day and get a fucking workout in at home. Go for a run, something like that. You know, don't fucking just play, don't fucking lift your pots and pans and, you know, don't juggle your fucking wooden spoons and call it a workout. You know, like there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good free at home training programs out there. I see there's a lot of stupid fucking print training programs. I see. We have the $5 12 week training program on com, but also on my Facebook, the public one, it's just like facebook.com slash Derek. Yesterday, I posted two weeks of free at home training. I saw that. It's, it's, it's very similar to what's in our 12 week program. So there's free training there. Get a fucking workout in. Get that fucking stress release. Don't fucking, I know people are going to fall into this trap. Like times are tough. Like don't, don't, don't eat your feelings. Don't stress eat. You know, don't fucking don't sit around and fucking wallow. Okay. It's like, so actually, you remember, I don't think um, we were chatting the other day and I was like, oh shit, that fucking Jocko Willink book. Yeah. I actually started reading that. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's uh, this, this, this book by Jocko Willink and it's called Extreme Ownership. Okay. And I've always, you know, it's like this so far, this book is, you know, he's, he's obviously done way cooler things than I have. And he's, I would, I would consider him above me in all manliness categories. And so like somebody <laughs> for me to, you know, aspire not to be, fuck, yeah. Look or, up to. You know, like I don't go that far with things, but like definitely like I could learn a lot from this motherfucker, right. but, but like so far I haven't learned anything. It's just like, I agree with this. And I think I already kind of, so that's like 
reaffirming. Yeah, you know, but, which is uh, good because yeah, then that helps. Especially coming you know, from like, a, a figure that you yeah. hold in high esteem, I'd say that's yeah. almost as important as learning something. You're like, oh shit, that stuff I figured out yeah. is the same stuff he's talking mm-hmm. about. So I'm thinking about things mm-hmm. the right way. So this was, I'll give an example. Um, so basically, so where I'm at in the book so far, I'm still like you know first. 40 percent or so but like the idea of extreme ownership is just taking the blame yep. always taking the blame not the blame but it's like it's my fault and i believe like every fucking everything about your life right now yeah has been a fucking accumulation of choices you've made yep. and so without being fucking heartless where what like your job right now the status of your work or business or something like that is these are choices you've made. Then there's, and so like, say you're a business owner and business is shitty right now because of this coronavirus. That's the risk you fucking take when you decide to work for yourself. You know, like you, right. that's the fucking risk you take. So it's like, but if it, it, like the extreme ownership ideas, it's all about like not blaming other people for when things go wrong. So it's like, he's a, the, the example they had, the first one was like, there was a, the, in Ramadi, you know, like the early days in Ramadi and there was a blue on blue. Okay. Like, so fucking, uh, if you guys don't know what that means, it was just like a friendly, friendly fire and, uh, an Iraqi army person died. And like, that was a huge fucking, that was a, that was, that's bad, you know, for anybody. Right. Um, and so it, he, his, his, uh, and he was the, uh, commander on the ground. He, he was overseeing the whole fucking operation. And there was a bunch of things that went wrong that led to this blue on blue. Yep. And he, he had to give a debriefing to his chain of command and they're like, all right, like whose fault is this? Cause they want to fucking ax somebody. Oh, right. And he was like, it's mine. And they're like, what? He's like, it's my fucking fault. Like I'm the leader. I'm responsible for this shit. It's my fucking fault. You know, and it's like, what can I do first? So I, I thought that was, I thought that was, um, I was like, fuck yeah. And I'll give a personal, um, story about, um, you know, it's like, um, me and you have had a business relationship now for a year yep. and sometimes I'll find myself getting frustrated with you or I don't think that you're doing what I want you to do okay. and things like that. But, um, but I, I always, I always remind myself, it's like, if you're not doing what I want you to do, it's because I'm not telling you right. what I want you to do. I'm not a and mind so reader, like, Derek. Yeah, and so like for, well, for real, you know, <laughs> but like it's a, it's an, it's a, it's a, instant fucking that's human that is all too human very human what do we say on this fucking show all the time like you have to be more than human right to be a good human these days you yep. know because like that's that's the like this extreme ownership thing so i um i don't i don't know why i don't i don't think this has anything to do with like working out at home or anything like that it's just i think about um you know we talk about these like or i did say like don't spend your time wallowing right now. You right. Know, like, you know, like if, if like people like no matter the circumstances of your life, like these it's, it's, it's nobody's fault, but yours, it's not coronavirus's fault. This like where we're at in life is always fucking our fault. And right. that means that we can fucking do something about it. Do a quick you know? little assessment yeah. of the yeah. tools that you have available. And yeah. Like, how do we move on from here? Mm-hmm. This sucks. Yeah. This sucks. Mm-hmm. How do we move Quit on? Fucking from here? bitching, dude. I like, I see, I see, I have a, um, I see some, I see a lot of people bitching on the internet about like their job, making them continue to work and stuff. And they need the government bailout and things like that. And it's like, it's so funny. It's the it's, internet. It's, it's, it's so funny to me how, um, like, but here's the, here's the people that are saying it right now. Like these, you know, like it's pretty popular to say like, nobody owes you anything. You fucking, you have to work for it and things like that. Okay. Now all these motherfuckers are like, please help. <laughs> <laughs> please help me yeah but uh anyways that was uh yeah mm. yeah but getting back to my point i think um now is a great time even though the fucking gyms are closed like everybody is somehow feeling stressed today dude i felt like a million bucks like an hour ago you know what happened what i went to the grocery store yeah and they had my food yeah, I walked in. I, I was, dude. I for real, like audibly, I was like, "Yeah, meat." When I walked in, because I could see the back counter, and it was just fucking red with meat. You know, shit's been weird. It's hard. To, so, I, ours is looking bad over by my house. Really? Yeah. But like you, like so nine and a half times out of ten, this place is fucking wiped. Right. I just went to the right. I went at the right time on the right day randomly. Yep. You know. 
What a fucking, and like, dude, so for me, yesterday, last night, I had my first meal without red meat, and I don't know how long. I didn't have any meat. I had just like some fucking shit I had on hand, because I had, I, um, uh, I had hash browns and eggs in a bowl with some cheese, and okay. then I had yogurt and granola, and then to make up for the lack of meat, I had two scoops of protein and a protein shake. You know, it was really fucking weird. And I was yeah. like, what a difficult time to give a shit about your fitness because the gyms are closed. Yeah. Food is fucking all over fucking, the place. It's a shit show. Like you get what you can get. What a, what a, what a perfect time to not give a fuck about your health and fitness. But this is actually the perfect time to give a fuck about your health and fitness. Like maybe like maybe even this extra time, you can finally start fucking, you know, like a lot of, a lot of fucking fat people are scared to go to the gym. Now we're, now everybody's at home. Get some fucking work done right now. Dude, yep. Get some fucking work done. Food's hard to find. <laughs> You're going to be on a calorie deficit. You know, <laughs> gotta, make, gotta make it last. Yeah. You know, no, it's, uh, do you, yeah. shop, do you shop online at all for food? Like grocery shopping. No, Have you ever tried mm-hmm. that? No, it gives, I, Stacy tried for us. And I just like, I was like, shut it down. Like, I feel too weird about this. I don't, I go to the store and actually like. I go to this, I grocery shop mm-hmm. in our house. Like that's, I, and it's usually after I'm leaving your house or, or us filming something, I'm, I'm leaving, I text my wife and, hey, what do we need? And then I'll hit the grocery store because it's way easier for me to go than to send her to the store with four kids to to go yeah, pick up stuff. For so sure. we try, or I tried uh, uh, like shopping on Amazon because uh, Vegas is big enough that you can you can order stuff and they'll deliver it to your yeah. house and other places that I've lived that wasn't the case like sure. it just didn't exist and so I tried it for the first time and we were going through vegetables like fresh produce stuff because the grocery store um, down the street from us dude they it was fucking empty like there was nothing and so I was looking at at Amazon and it's like available available so I'm ordering shit and. I had must have been misreading things because I'm adding what I thought was like you can't a, fucking spell. I can't no, I can yeah. See my, how that could my, go wrong? Real my fast. spelling ain't yeah. that good. <laughs> I like, or- why are they trying to get me to buy my turd? Why do I want my own turd? They're like, bitch, that says mustard. You know? God damn it! <laughs> I don't want my own turd. God damn it! <laughs> trying to get me my turd. No, I was fucking up the quantities where okay. I thought I was oh, adding like a had dumbbell showing up to your house yeah. every day for a while. Dude, yeah, I was ordering single apples and single bananas. Oh. Oh, you like showed me, you can show me the picture. Like yeah. you got one motherfucking apple. You got one fucking That's apple. What you got. I couldn't help but think of the guy who is going and picking up the stuff and Where packaging he knows it. And that, he's like, this dumb motherfucker. Yeah. And he's like, but I, I can't give him more than I have to get exactly. <laughs> I know you'd want more than one apple, but here's your one apple. So I got one apple delivered to my house with a couple mm. other things. You know, it's a no, so for me personally. I'm weird, dude. Or like everybody has their quirks. I'm not more weird than someone else, but I'm weird. I actually got Stacy with this the other day. For one, for me, like food, I have a very close relationship with food. I do. Like it yep. is, it's a life source. Right. It's not like food to me isn't. So I don't, I don't just eat what I enjoy. You know, I eat what makes me feel good and makes me perform well and makes me feel good about myself. Cause right. like it is sustaining my life. And um, so I'm super finicky about meat and things like that. And uh, we like when things go bad, I fucking throw them away. Like I do not, I don't do leftovers after like day four or something like that. Even Cold when pizza even, five even, weeks later. even when food is still good, yeah. But Stacy isn't like that, you know. And she was giving me shit about it yesterday. I was like, because I I thawed some meat like five days ago and I didn't cook it. And I was like, it looks kind of sketchy. It's all me. good. I, yeah, but I was like, Stacy, I was like, I can't, I can't cook it. And she was giving me shit about it. I was like, hey, sometimes you think your heart is beating out of rhythm, and I don't fuck with you about it. I got my quirks about food because, like, sometimes her, you know, like her anxiety <laughs> and panic attacks. She thinks her heart's beating off. Anyways, I, I have mm, a, an interesting relationship with food, and it, she was actually. Cause at our at our grocery store here, you can do the online thing and they'll bag it and yep. Yep. and then you just go pick it up. Right. And she was going through it and she's like, "What do you want?" I was like, "I need this and I need this." And it just made me feel I don't want to live in that world. I don't do Alexa. I don't have much. That's a whole nother much level. on it's my phone. Talking you know? to your house. To I work. don't. 
I don't do I don't want to have the doorbell thing with the camera. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want like I'm I'm oddly against technology, but I'm not anti-technology. I just am for me personally. It's an overwhelming amount of fucking shit. It's like, yeah. why can't I just go to the fuck? I want to go to the store. I want to go to the store. And actually today I was sad. As much as happy as I was at the grocery store that they had food, like the butcher itself is is closed and empty, you know? They just stock the shelves. Right. But like, I like saying hi to those guys. And I wanted to be like, like hey, you know, like fucking wave at them and shit like that. And I don't know. No, I don't think I can... Uh, no online shopping. No, it's too weird for me. I can't. I can't get there. I'm gonna try it again. Mm-hmm. Mm. But it. But you know, like it might. It, it might come to. What a world we live in, where that's even a fucking option now. I right? know. You know. So it's like it's incredible. So like stores are sold out of stuff, but we're looking at online. It's like, man, we can literally get any fucking thing we need. Yep. You know, and it's like. Sure, things are weird and different right now, and times are tough. For, but like, fucking, what a time to be alive! If we're gonna go through a pandemic, I'd want to go through one in 2020, right? And not 1918 or fucking 1547 or something. You know, like the funny thing is, like these are something like this is nothing new to the human race. It's new to us. It hasn't happened in a while. It hasn't happened to me. But uh, <laughs> you know? my, this is my first one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking lately. So, so for like, for, so for me, like we have that, uh, we have meal prep company in town and I like to, I fucking, I, I like my routines. I eat the same thing every day for the most part, you yeah. know, at the same time. And that's right. just, I'm, I'm used to feeling a certain way. And if, and if I don't feel that way, I get thrown off. Like it is part like mental illness type shit. It really <laughs> is. But like, I've learned how to fucking cope and be happy. Right. Despite this fucking, Bullshit. This, this is my good mental illness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are the tricks I've learned, you know, but it's hard to do that right now. And so it's, so it's like, you know, uh, what, what, what we said, like what a time to just fucking not try on your health and fitness. It seems like the perfect time to fucking just go ahead and take it easy. But like that, no. like, no, no, don't this let yourself, the worst time don't let do yourself get weak right now. Like this is the time to get fucking strong. Dude, you need In your tough health. times. If you can be, if you can be strong during tough times, the easy times are a fucking breeze, dude. Like, and I, like, I, I kind of, like I said, like, this hasn't really affected my life too much yet, but if it does, it doesn't matter to me because I always live like ready to lose everything and, and like, you know, coldly anyone and I'll always be okay, you know, right. but it's, but like life taught me that because of what happened to me. Right. You know, so I saw, you know, in our world, on the internet, it's so fucking, you know, in, in fitness on the internet, it's so fucking cliche to talk about, like, overcoming adversity, overcoming obstacles and things like that. But now the rhetoric is, like, you know, people are whining about stuff, you know? And actually, so Derek Carver, fucking A, I, 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 would, I would keep the person's name anonymous if I thought they would fucking care. But Derek Carver said something funny as shit the other day, because this is who... This is who Derek Carver is. He's he's a fucking tough motherfucker, but he's also got a good heart and he's a good friend. Right. But he just like he is he's ruthless to people, you know, or like he's ruthless to fucking weak people. Like tough love kind of mm -hmm. ruthless, mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> it's like your army leadership. Like he still he still talks to civilians as if they were in the military or something yep. like that. So he said something the other day. He's like a lot of you have never had to fucking overcome anything, and it fucking shows. I was like. Uh, you know, it was like, there's, there's problems. Every, everybody has problems, but it's always like a difference of degree. Yeah. And so like, I've had unique life experiences that are real fucking problems that sort of set me up for something like this. Right. But like, so now is your time. Now is you are living in your adversity right the fuck now. This is it. This is it. This is not the time to fucking, uh, wallow, feel sorry for yourself. Right. Now is the time to fucking, you know, we're I always in, we're in a fight now. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. now, now I know we're in a fight, so let's start fighting back. I always want to say the word "stay the course," but that's a company, and they're really fucking. I don't, <laughs> I don't know who runs it, but their shit is really cool. 
It's uh, they make shirts and stuff like that. Okay, they're they're they're, they're fucking. I don't have any, but I I always want to get some. They're, yeah, they're like, have you not seen Stay the Course? I probably have on Instagram. Just don't remember. It's fucking manly ass shit. Yeah, their shit's better than anything that I've ever done. Okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of things I do. I'm like, man, yeah, I wanted like there's there there there's ideas I'll have. Yeah, but I feel like it's infringing. A little bit on so like the recent bring the violence t-shirt right i think that was infringing a little a, a little bit on what they do but i'll but you know i was like yeah nah. i respect it stay the course i love you and respect you and i try to not fucking but um i want to say that quite often now is the time to stay the course you know like this is your this is your test for a lot of people especially business owners right now i think for everybody mm. <clears throat> I'm chewing right now and spitting. So yeah, um, getting back to it, like we didn't even talk about we we just went on kind of about <laughs> life things and home workouts and 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 uh, <laughs> to to make up you know if if you take anything away from this this episode, it's like make make your health and fitness still a priority given the times. Like I have always leaned on on fitness during my hard times and so maybe that'll work for you too if things are extremely tough like money problems man money problems are a motherfucker and yep. a lot of people are having money problems i remember and they're about to get worse for mm-hmm, a lot of people too mm-hmm, mm. and so for like for for me like you know um very you know grateful thankful relieved like we're doing okay right now but it's like if this goes on for three or four months or something, oh, I, yeah. I have to I have to think and be prepared yeah. for us to be fucking broke. And right. we got a fucking family here. You yeah. know, it's like um, but I've been broke as shit before with no like making seven hundred bucks a month type shit, you know, yep. in my adult life where my I have to overdraft my bank account to pay rent. Right. Which that, bill that, is not important. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I don't need car mm-hmm. insurance right now. There is. Um and you know, like I thought uh, when when we uh, when we did IVF, we were open about infertility, mm-hmm. and people were like, "So glad you're being open and honest about it, and getting rid of the stigma and things like that." If you think there's a fucking stigma about infertility, there's a stigma about money, and it goes both ways. Nobody wants to say they're poor, and nobody can say they're wealthy, <laughs> except like fuck, you know, like nobody. You can't just come out and be like, "I got a fuck ton of money right now." You know, you can't say that. And and people don't say I'm broke as shit. But when I'm like, I have, have never been afraid. Just like when we had problems with infertility, I was like, yeah, we're like, we have problems with infertility. And people are like, you're so brave. I was like, not really. I'm just fucking saying this is how life is. Now. Like, you know, life is kind of, you know, confusing and gray area sometimes. Like, so it's like, I, I've never been afraid to say like, I'm broke. Right. right. That's not true. I think I was for a while, but. Afraid to say it or. Mm. or broke admitting to people that you're broke it's like it's like it's almost like people think that um saying i don't have any money is the same thing as saying i'm a shitty person in a way or like being broke is a horrible feeling or like you know like when you don't know how you're gonna pay your fucking mortgage or your rent that's a that's a stress that is i put that way high up there on, right. on on stresses people face and like when we when we help people with their health and fitness and things like that they'll tell me like what gets in their way and stuff like that but nobody ever says i'm stressed about money but a lot of people are stressed about money yeah and like especially right now like the money shit is just gonna get yeah you know, i haven't even really been following like what's what's happening with uh with like unemployment and i know <laughs> I was reading about like the casinos, like a lot of the the big. We have a lot of casinos here in Las Vegas, obviously, and 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 they employ a fuckload of people. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like I didn't know it was that. I mean, it's like hundred hundred thousand. Like, this is a fucking lot yeah. of people work for the casinos. And so the, the government's scrambling right now to get that stimulus package through, like one point eight trillion or something like that, and they're yeah. fighting over things like that. And I, I hope they do the right thing, and you know, uh, help people out right now or just. I don't know, you know, but a lot of people are, it's, it's, it's going to be on you. I think, you know, it's like, yes, <laughs> you might have to hit the reset button. You might have to hit the fucking reset button on your whole entire fucking life. Okay. Okay. Yep. Hold on. It always happens during, I can't go it an hour like with a fucking cat. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. I might have to poop soon, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, 
like don't don't let don't let the times overwhelm you you have to keep your wits about you okay and for like you know so it sounds it sounds maybe counterintuitive but for me right now like i'm 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 making my health and fitness still a priority um i did the thing that i talked about and I think in our goals episode where I said I wanted to read more, I'm yep. making, I'm reading every day. So even if it's for like 10 minutes or something, you know, right. like just investing a little bit of time in myself right now, because what's happening is overwhelming. It, it like it, in, in any way, in every single possible fucking way, it's overwhelming. Like the situation itself is overwhelming. The way people are reacting is overwhelming. The way our lives are changing is overwhelming. What we have to do to continue to support our families is new fucking right. obstacles to jump through and things like that. It's all overwhelming. Like take, take time and invest it in yourself right now just for your fucking mental health. Get, hit those at-home workouts, okay? Like, and I'll just say it again. There's a good 12 weeks of at-home training on DerekWhite.com for five bucks. There's also free training on my Facebook page. It's uh, Facebook.com slash DerekWhite. I put it up in my stories. Yeah, those uh, go away after a yeah, day, Yeah, right? so I might as well just post that. Mm. There's, there's a lot of free programs out there. Be careful where you're getting them from. I do see a lot of dumb programs. It is what it is. I see a lot of fucking people scrambling to make ends meet, and that's fine, but they're putting together shitty products. Um, <laughs> um, but there are a lot of good programs out there too. Take, take, I, you know, I encourage you guys to not get overwhelmed right now, to, to give a shit about your health and fitness. Do your best. Do your best. Take care of you. Because, like, as we said before on this show, like, taking care of yourself equates to you become a better spouse. You become a better parent. You become a better friend. And we're all more stressed than normal. We Everybody is. Yep. It's like, it's, there's, there's some shit going on. Yeah. <laughs> Do your best. Do your best. And if you're out there and, like, if... Like, I just, a dude, it makes me, I really do. I've said this before, like, I don't get depressed about the state of my own life. Like, I get I get depressed about the state of the world and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like, if, like, I know, like, I have friends who own gyms, and they're afraid that yeah. they're going to lose their gym. I and know. that shit makes me so fucking sad. Yeah. And it's like, I want to give them money or something, but I, I can't because I have a family and yep. shit like that, you know? like I, When everyone's kind of in that situation. Mm -hmm. I think the best thing you can do is is what what local businesses that that are that are still up and running that you can support you gotta support mm -hmm. you gotta like if 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 you eat out and maybe normally you hit up like a McDonald's or something or or whatever like if you can find that small local restaurant that's still doing takeout yeah because you know like, like to go I, eat there I watch uh, the Bad News Network Nick Palmashano puts it out like uh -huh. the Ranger Up guys you know I, okay and. And I, I like that they do it once a week. It's like they just it's Nick is a really smart guy uh -huh. and, I, and I like getting fucking information from him, you know, and he was talking about uh, the restaurant industry and how like restaurants aren't it's not part of their model to go 30 days without business. Like right. these fucking stores are going to close. It's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So it's like, but that's a double edged sword. It's like stay in your fucking house, go support your local business. And so <laughs> how do we do that? I don't know. You yeah. Know. The way I understand people are doing it and, and, and this goes into the adapt or die is that they, they have their menus that are online and mm -hmm. you can call up and order and basically just drive in mm -hmm jump out of your car, pick up the food and then get back in your car and go home. Yeah. Like that's what everyone in the restaurant business has had to do. Uh, mm. Texas, I think just made it to where you can pick up fucking uh, alcohol. Like you really? can get, yeah. yeah. You can See, get adapt drinks. or die. Adapt or die. Right. Adapt or die. What can we do? Yeah. My, my kids jujitsu class is on, is all online now. Mm -hmm. So we, we turn on a lot of people are using zoom for, for their meetups and their classes and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And so you log yeah, into the, that. The and CrossFit Apollo here is using Zoom. Are they? Like, I don't want to fuck, but I, it goes back to my bullshit with technology. It's like, I don't want to download another app. Why can't you just go live on Facebook? And Stacy's like, well, because other people can have their cameras up too and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, oh, this is so the back and forth. Sense. You that can see sense. them. They can see you. Yeah. It's a little bit more. You might have to get yeah. another app, Derek. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't want it. I don't, I can't, I can't even work the fucking apps I do have. I know so little about our industry or like our apps and stuff that's yeah. why i have you owen you know everything <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, 
Did, did sometimes do I ask you questions and you're just like, are you fucking stupid or like? Uh, there's, what, been what? A, there's been a couple. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> you didn't know how to do that? No, it was your, when we first went live with the, uh, what was it? We first went live with the website and the cookies on your, on your phone were, you, you kept texting me the website. Yeah. And I was like, why the fuck are you texting me the website? And you're like, well, I can't open it up on, on my, on my phone. It just shows. I was like, well, you have to clear out your cache, clear out your search history. I don't know what that means. What? (laughs) I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Cookies. I was like, I'm not going to do any of that. All I got to do is sit here and fucking text you. I know, I know how to do that. (laughs) Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I've, I already solved that problem. You're mm-hmm. just going to get the website address text hey, to you. To, to stop annoying you, I started texting myself. That's right. But at some point, it just corrected itself. That's funny. Your I can phone updated on, yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Problem solved. I laughed every time I got that text. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I work with a fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking yeah. knuckle dragon yeah. meathead. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to wrap up here, guys. Um, just, just once again, like, you know, uh, Owen and I have been saying it to ourselves. And uh, when we talk about other things right now, adapt or die, adapt or die, adapt or die. We're all faced with this. We're all faced with the same problem, but we have unique problems within that. Okay. Like, but just, I, I, I've said this a million times. And, and the cool thing about what I've said in fitness translates to life. It's like, yep. you know, it's like when I lost my leg, it's like I could sit there and like wallow about the things that I can't do. So I've always said, don't think about the things you can't do. Think about, think about the things you can do. What can you do given the circumstances to improve the quality of your life? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and just to say it one more time, give a shit about your health and fitness right now. Give a shit about your health and fitness. Take care of yourself. Invest some time into yourself. You know, we got a lot of time right now. A lot of know? time right now. Do something productive with it. Don't just, like, please, for your sake, don't just sit around and be a mopey, sad motherfucker. Don't blame anybody else for anything right now. It ain't going to help you. It ain't going to help you. Even if it is somebody else's fault, it ain't going to help you. Help yourself. Take care of your friends. Take care of your family. <laughs> Stay inside, motherfuckers. Uh, That's it for this episode of Savage Saturdays. I got a lot of spit in my mouth. As always, I love you guys. We'll catch you next week. See you later.